From Atlantis to El Dorado, the legends of lost cities have fascinated explorers for centuries. The prospect of uncovering a previously unknown civilization is every archaeologist's dream. And in 2020, that dream came true. Let's dive right into the lost world of the Egypt Empire. Zahi Hawass is a legendary Egyptologist who has dedicated his life to uncovering the secrets of ancient Egypt. He started his career working around the Great Pyramids of Giza and is responsible for discovering the now famous tomb of the pyramid builders. Before this finding, almost everyone thought that the pyramids were constructed using brutal slave labor. But Hawass's discovery changed the entire world's perception of ancient Egypt. It turns out that the workers who constructed the Great Pyramid were not only paid for their efforts, but they were celebrated by King Khufu, who ordered the pyramid to be built. Inside the tomb of the builders, there are depictions of the builders celebrating with beer and being recognized as friends of the pharaoh. This alone would be enough of an accomplishment to satisfy most archaeologists for their whole careers. But Hawass continued to work in Egypt and make more discoveries. In the mid-2000s, he worked alongside Otto Schaden to open a previously undiscovered tomb in the Valley of the Kings, and he is also responsible for locating the mummy of Hatshepsut, Egypt's most powerful female pharaoh. Now, Hawass has made the most important discovery of his career, a 3,000-year-old lost city that has been hidden for centuries. The amazing part of this is that Hawass and his team weren't even looking for the lost city of Aten when they found it. They were originally searching for an ancient temple dedicated to King Tutankhamun. While excavating an area they thought the temple might be, Hawass and his crew stumbled upon several walls made out of dried mud. At first, they thought they might have found an unknown temple or storage building. But as they explored further, the massive scope of their finding began to reveal itself. What they had found was an almost entirely intact ancient city, with thousands of artifacts held within. There are storage buildings for food, tools used in everyday life, a massive cemetery with unopened tombs, and much more. It will take years for the entire site to be excavated, but even the early findings are amazing. Inside a building that was likely used for processing food, they found a jar that was full of 22 pounds of cooked meat. An inscription on the container reads, that year 37 dressed meat for the third Heb said festival from the slaughterhouse of the stockyard of Ka made by the butcher Louis. The city of Aten will tell us so much about ancient Egypt that we thought was lost. In an interview after the finding was made, Hawa said, This is amazing because actually we know a lot about tombs and afterlife. But now we discover a large city to tell us for the first time about the life of the people during the Golden Age. Each piece of sand can tell us the lives of the people, how the people lived at the time, how the people lived in the time of the Golden Age when Egypt ruled the world. We spent a lot of time talking about mummies and talking about how they died, the ritual of their deaths, and this is the ritual of their lives. Researchers around the world were blown away by the discovery. Egyptologist Salima Ikram stated, It's extraordinarily beautiful. I don't think you can oversell it. It is mind-blowing. Betsy Bryan from Johns Hopkins University claims that The discovery of this lost city is the second most important archaeological discovery since the tomb of Tutankhamun. And while this discovery is absolutely incredible, it seems that there may be darker secrets hidden in the city of Aten. While looking through the various buildings, researchers discovered a skeleton with its arms outstretched like in a crucifixion pose and a rope around its knees. Egypt's Ministry of Antiquities issued a statement that called the situation odd and said that the finding is going to be investigated further. One of the most intriguing aspects of Aten is the discovery of the cemetery within. Archaeologist Hannah Pethen stated that, Everybody loves the thought of an exciting untouched tomb. But actually, this is probably more significant and more important than if it was a pharaoh's tomb. We have a lot of tombs and we know a lot about them, but we don't have a lot of evidence about how Egyptians lived and worked in their cities. Finding the tomb of a pharaoh used to be considered the holy grail for Egyptologists, but this cemetery could house information that changes everything we know about the golden age of the Egyptian empire. 
Unfortunately, it will take several years for the site to be explored, but the possibilities are truly endless. The city of Aten dates back to the reign of Akhenaten, who is one of the most mysterious rulers of ancient Egypt. He took the throne when he was only 13 and quickly began implementing extreme religious and political changes. At some point, Akhenaten decided to abandon the capital city at Thebes, which is when the construction of Aten began. No one knows why he chose to do this, but Hawass is hopeful that further excavation of the city will reveal more answers. What we do know is that Aten came to be hated after his death, and possibly while he was still alive. He was buried in a royal tomb, but his grave was ransacked and destroyed by his successors. Monuments and statues dedicated to him were destroyed, and later pharaohs tried to erase his name from history. Could this hatred be related to the creation of Aten? Possibly. But as of today, we can't say for certain. It seems as though Aten was mostly abandoned after Akhenaten's death, but the dates are still unclear. Hannah Pethen isn't holding her breath for answers. She said in an interview, I wouldn't put any money on it. Akhenaten has a habit of keeping his secrets. The lost city of Aten isn't the only recent archaeological find in Egypt. In February 2021, researchers found a 5,000-year-old brewery in an ancient city called Abydos. Beer was very important to the Egyptians. They would often drink it when they didn't have access to clean drinking water and it was even used during burial rituals for kinks. The ancient brewery had eight different sections for making beer and might have produced up to 6,000 gallons at a time. No one knew just how popular beer was in ancient Egypt until this discovery was made. Meanwhile, in the same month, another team of archaeologists found a disturbing scene in northern Egypt. While working at a newly discovered temple outside of Alexandria, they came across 16 grave sites. This on its own isn't exactly newsworthy, but no one was expecting what came next. Inside the tombs were heavily decayed mummies with golden tongues in their mouths. Some ancient Egyptians believed that by being buried with a golden amulet in their mouth, they would be able to speak in the afterlife. A few of the coffins also featured golden decorations that depicted the god Osiris, ruler of the underworld. It appears that these Egyptians believed that they could speak to Osiris after they died and hopefully convince him to not keep them in the underworld. Then, in October 2021, a new discovery was made that might change everything we know about mummification in ancient Egypt. The body was found in 2019, but new research indicates that it may be 1,000 years older than originally thought, which would place it in Egypt's Old Kingdom. Egyptologist Salima Ikram stated, If this is indeed an Old Kingdom mummy, all books about mummification and the Old Kingdom will need to be revised. This would completely turn our understanding of the evolution of mummification on its head. The materials used, their origins, and the trade routes associated with them. The body belongs to a nobleman that researchers are calling Kui, but not much is known about him as of today. However, his remains may hold the key to unlocking the secrets of Egypt's old kingdom, a time period that we know almost nothing about. This is a thrilling discovery but it will take quite a bit more time for researchers to fully examine the remains. Right now is an incredibly exciting time for archaeologists in Egypt. New discoveries are being made at a rapid pace, and you never know what they're going to find next. And as the city of Aten continues to be explored and excavated, there's no telling what will be found. Like Zahi Hawass says, you never know what the sand of Egypt might hide. Okay guys, that's all of the Lost Worlds of Egypt for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new content. Thanks so much for watching.